here we have a word problem that involves linear equations. And this is not a particularly easy problem. So we're going to take it one small step at a time. And I think what I'm going to do is read the question and then just sort of type out a plan for how to solve problems like this. So let's read the question. It says, Dan will rent a car for the weekend. He can choose one of two plans. The first plan has an initial fee of $51.98 and costs 14 cents per mile driven. The second plan has an initial fee of $61.98 and costs an additional 10 cents per mile driven. How many miles would Dan need to drive for the two plans to cost the same? Huh. So this is you know, the kind of real world problem you might actually face sometimes. Um, there's two different uh, plans for this car. One has a smaller upfront cost, but a bigger per mile cost. And the other has a, has a bigger upfront cost and a, and a cheaper per mile cost. And you want to figure out what's your break-even point. At how many miles um, do the plans cost the same? And that way you can say, if I drive less than this, I should go with this plan. If I drive more than this, I should go with the other plan. So what we really need to do is write equations for both plans. Then, since we want to find the point where both of the plans are going to cost the same, we set the two equations equal to each other. And finally, we'll solve for x. And what is x? Well, we want to find the number of miles that they'll drive where the two plans are the same. So x is number of miles driven. Okay, So that's our plan. Let's see how this goes. Now, both of these are linear equations. And we're told that in, in our title up here, um, that these are linear equations. A linear equation usually has some uh, number that doesn't change, some constant portion of it. And in this case, it's going to be an initial fee part. You pay that no matter how many miles you drive. And then it also has some part that changes per unit of time, or in this case, per number of miles driven. So if we wanted to know the total number of miles, sorry, the total cost, if we wanted to know the total cost, so I'm going to call that C here of the first plan, it would be the number of miles driven times that 14 cents. So 0.14 times X. Remember, X is the number of miles driven, plus that 5,198 you paid up front. Okay. So here's our constant part, and here's the part that changes with the number of miles, and that's going to be your total cost. And let's call this C1 because it's for the first plan. C2, we're going to write an equation like this. In that case, it's only 10 cents per mile, so it would be 0.1 times x. Let me put some leading zeros out here so it doesn't get confusing to anybody. But that bigger upfront cost, so plus 61.98. So that is how to write the two equations for both of these situations. In these equations, if you put in some number for x, let's say I'm going to drive 100 miles, I could just put in 100 for x and crunch out the numbers, and I'd figure out how much that plan was going to cost me. Now, we've done this step. Let's do this step. We want to set the two equations equal to each other. So C, the cost is going to be the same, c1 equals c2. That means I can set this portion equal to this portion. So I'll have 0.14x plus 51, oops, come on, pen, 51.98 equals 0.1x plus 61.98. Now I have an equation with one variable, x. It's on both sides, so I'll have to, to figure that out. But I can solve this for x, and when I do, I'm going to get the number of miles driven where the plans cost the same. So how do we solve this? Well, I've got 0.14x over here and 0.1x over here. I want to get the variable just on one side of the equal sign. So I think I'm going to subtract 0.1x. Of course, if I do it there, I have to do it over here too. So minus 0.1x. So over here, 0.14x minus 0.1x is going to give me 0.04x. Then I have my plus 51.98. And over here, the 
positive 0.1x and the negative 0.1x add up to zero, so I don't have to write that. And I've got my 61, 98. The next step, I've got my variable on one side of the equation. The next step is to get it alone on that side of the equation. So I want to get rid of this 5198. That's a positive 5198, so I'm going to subtract 5198 to get rid of it. And then I have to do the same thing over here. Luckily, these numbers are pretty convenient. So over here on the left-hand side of the equation, these two add up to 0. So I just get 0.04x. And over here, 6198 minus 5198 is just 10. Now to solve this, I need to divide by 0 0.04. When you divide by a, a decimal like this, it's going to make this number bigger. The 10 is going to get bigger by, by a fair amount. So you can use your calculator to do this. Um, so I would type in 10 and then divide it 0 0.04. And I would get 250. So x here is going to equal 250. And that's the number of miles to drive where both the plans are the same. If you're going to drive less than that, you should take that first plan where the miles per uh, the amount per mile it, it costs more. And if you're going to drive more than 250 miles, you should take the second plan. So that is how to solve a word problem uh, with this type of linear equation.